How's it going everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today with another installment of my Dare to Dream collection series. In this series, I take a look at shoes that aren't as commonly seen on YouTube, including high heat releases from the past, and shoes that just have a special place in sneaker history. So today we'll be taking a closer look at the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the original Shattered Backboard colorway. If you guys have been even remotely interested in sneakers in the past few years, I'm sure you guys have seen or heard of the Shattered Backboard Jordan 1s. This colorway originally released back in 2015 and it retailed for 160 US dollars or $215 here in Canada. The official colorway for this shoe is black, starfish and sail. And despite the very modest retail price, this pair is fetching around 1800 to 2000 Canadian dollars on the secondary resale market. So putting aside the whole resale aspect of this shoe, let's take a step back and I'll give you guys a brief history lesson behind this pair and what makes it so special. So back in August of 1985, shortly after Michael Jordan captured the NBA Rookie of the Year award, Jordan traveled to Trieste, Italy to take part in a Nike-sponsored basketball game. This exhibition game involved two different Italian basketball teams, and MJ suited up for the Trieste team, whose uniforms consisted of a black and orange color. Jordan would go on to score 30 points that game, but the most memorable play in the game was when he went in for a powerful dunk, and it was so powerful that he actually broke the entire backboard. The glass on the backboard shattered across the entire court, which is where the legend of the shattered backboard was born. In fact, that story became so legendary that recently, Christie's actually auctioned off the actual shoe that Jordan was wearing during that exhibition game, and embedded in the soles of one of the shoes, you can still see a shard of that glass from that backboard. That specific pair of the Chicago One broke the record for the most expensive sneaker ever sold at auction for 615,000 US dollars. So clearly the whole shattered backboard story has become legendary in the tale of Michael Jordan. So 30 years later, in 2015, Jordan Brand decided to bring these out and following the popularity of this colorway, they would go on to release a shattered backboard 2.0 and a 3.0. So despite the fact that the shattered backboard story in itself is an amazing story to hear, one of the other reasons why this colorway is so highly sought after is because the quality of the materials was top notch. You know, there was a time when the Jordan 1 was manufactured using very cheap materials, and it got to the point where we were sort of used to Jordan 1s having a very synthetic and very plastic-like leather. However, these shattered backboards really flipped the script, and many people in the sneaker community now use this colorway as the benchmark for quality on a Jordan 1. So taking a deep dive into this shoe, starting things off with the toe box, here we have this very nice starfish or orange colored leather. This leather has a very nice softness to it, and it feels very high quality to the touch. Surrounding the outer edge of the toe box, here we have this black synthetic leather. And honestly, this black leather feels like any other leather you'd see on a Jordan 1 around this time frame. You might see these sparkles on the black leather. This is something we commonly see on black leather used on Jordan 1s around this time frame. I think it has something to do with the coating on the leather that they used. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it's something we see a lot on a lot of people's pairs. But honestly, you just wipe it off with a wet cloth, and this stuff does go away for the most part. Moving downwards, the side panels of the shoe, this is constructed using a very, very high quality sail or off-white colored leather. This honestly is some of the best leather I've seen used on a Jordan 1. It has a very nice softness to it, and just from the touch, you can feel that the quality is really top-notch. However, overlaid on top, we have a black Nike swoosh, and again, this black leather is the same leather used on the toe box, so this is going to be a synthetic black leather that's not going to be anything too special. Moving downwards, we have more of that orange colored leather, and on the ankle collar area, on the lateral side only, we have the Air Jordan Wings logo debossed in the shiny black finish. The top of the ankle collar area, this is surrounded in that synthetic black leather once again, and then the remainder of the back heel, this is covered in that high quality orange leather. For the laces, these come with a flat black style lace, and then underneath this, we have your typical nylon tongue, this time done in black, and at the very top, we have this tag which has Nike Air branding done in orange. Taking out the insoles, these come with this custom graphic insole, which is a nod to the whole shattered backboard story. The upper of these Jordan 1s sits atop this solid sail colored midsole, and encapsulated within the heel but not visible to the eye, we have a Nike Air Sole unit for cushioning. Flipping the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your classic Air Jordan 1 outsole. This is entirely done in this orange colored rubber, we have this circular traction pattern on the forefoot, and Nike branding in the center. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this shoe, and as you can see, the quality of the Shattered Backboard Jordan 1 is very, very good. I don't know if it's the best quality Jordan 1 Retro we've ever seen. I obviously don't own every single Jordan 1 Retro out there, so of course there might be other contenders out there, and everyone's opinion is different. 
However, you can't deny that the quality on this pair is definitely exceptional. Beyond that though, there's not much else that needs to be said. Sizing wise, I feel like these fit true to size. The leather is very soft and very forgiving. So even for my slightly wider feet, there was no need to go up a half size. So anyways, that breaks down everything you need to know about the Shattered Backboard Air Jordan 1 Retro. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about this colorway. Do you guys think the resale prices on this pair is justified? Or would you guys rather settle for the lower prices on the Shattered Backboard 2.0 or 3.0? If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8. Check out my Twitter account at sean.go and visit my website as well at seangoca So until next time, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this installment of my Dare to Dream series. And until next time, I'll catch you guys all in my next review.